Hi, my name is John Amidon and I'm interviewing Ed Kinnan, a Syracuse peace activist, and Ed's very much concerned about the drones at Hancock Airfield. So tell me a little bit about drones, Ed. I know you've written about them and you're deeply concerned about the deaths of innocent civilians and um, how is this affecting this area? Yeah, John, thanks for coming by. Um, so a couple of years ago, we learned that Hancock Air Base, right on the outskirts of Syracuse, was hosting the National Maintenance Center for Reaper drones, which are used in the skies above uh, Iran. I'm sorry, Iraq, uh, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Now, the Reaper drone is a very high-tech surveillance airplane that's unmanned. Uh, there's no crew on board, it's robotic. It has not only very sophisticated surveillance equipment, but it also can be armed with 500 pound bombs and Hellfire missiles. The CIA uses the Reaper in the skies above Pakistan, killing many civilians in a country we're not even at war with. The US military uses the Reaper in the skies over Afghanistan. Not only does it kill many civilians in these countries, but it maims them, it destroys their home, and it sends hundreds and thousands of Afghans and Pakistanis fleeing the terror of them. And I've read recently that uh, there are planned drone training missions over the Adirondack Mountains. I'm wondering how people feel about that. Well, in, in my circles, people are pretty upset uh, because uh, a, it's using civilian areas here in upstate New York for training these um, vicious instruments. Um, but also I think it's, it's more of the entering wedge into domestic surveillance here in the U.S. Uh, the drones are already being used to surveil the Mexican U.S. border, the Canadian U.S. border. Some police departments around the country are now experimenting with drones for surveillance purposes. And uh, there are nanotech uh, drones being created. There is a hummingbird. Right. This is, a, this is a very small drone, very high tech um, that's in the development stages that can only increase Big Brother surveillance capabilities over the people of the U.S. I also uh, read in, I think it was in one of your articles, that Israel has uh, several factories in the United States manufacturing drones for the U.S. military. And yeah, Israel, which along with the U.S., is, is on the cutting edge of drone evolution, drone development, uh, in order to better sell its technology to the U.S. military, Israel actually has factories uh, for making drones in Mississippi and Ohio. And what else would you like to tell us today I, um, in terms of the technology or in terms of the morality, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder amongst the pilots? I, there's a whole host of things that we might talk about, but we're going to wrap this up soon. So, Okay. Well, yes, we can go in a number of directions. Um, one point I want to make is that this technology is in its very early stages. It's going to get more and more complex and sophisticated and more of a threat to civil rights and more of a threat to civilians around the world. Um, it's, it is tactically very clever technology. There's no question about that. But strategically, it's stupid because it only generates more and more bad will toward U.S. forces, wherever they're based, and toward the U.S. itself. Okay, well, thank you so much. This was Ed Kinnan on March 1st in Syracuse, New York. Thanks, John.